Okay, here we are. We're at the beginning of the Berryessa Trail. What's this called? This Stubbins Creek or something it's called? Yeah. Here we are. We just parked. And now we're heading up this direction. It's about 9.30 a.m. now. Car park is quite full, but this is the creek bed. We just came from there. Now we're entering the tunnels. See you on the other end, Kiel. There's a turn off for the Blue Ridge. We're taking the Blue Ridge. We just realized we're probably going the wrong way, going the opposite direction to what we wanted to do at least. So we're going to retrace our steps a little bit and then head in the other direction. So this is the sign that we missed or at least ignored and then we carried on to these signs which talk about a different trail, Annie's and Homestead. But the Blue Ridge Loop, which is the one we want to do, we followed that, but actually that's doing it in the reverse order. So we want to go this way, which is going to take us up the mountainside and then across the ridge. Yeah. So we're heading up the side here, out of breath a bit as you can see. And uh yeah, a little tougher than I remember. There's a quick map. This is the Blue Ridge Trail. So we parked here somewhere. And we hiked up here, this black one. You are here. So we're going to go up here, up to the top, which is where the beautiful view of Lake Berryessa is. Across the ridge. Down. We will not do this extra loop. We will just carry on down, following the black one, down by the creek. Puta Creek, I think it is, and then back to the start. And that's the plant. Okay, so we think that is four miles to go. At least that's what I think. Keel disagrees a little bit, <laughs> but I think that's four miles to go on this Blue Ridge Trail. We've come quite a way. So we're getting sort of near to the top. You can see all these trees that were burnt in fire some years ago. The whole hillside is suffering. Same as you'll see blank patches on the other side, these bare patches. That would be the plot of fires over there. So we're still moving, still moving onwards and upwards. Definitely feeling the the workout at this point as we still approach the top. Not too far to go now, I would say. I think this may be the final step. I think we're on top. We're going to follow that ridge down there next. But for now, we will just enjoy this view of Lake Berryessa. in the background. It's a long hard climb. It's not much more than a mile, but it's tough enough. There are hidden inlets down there where one can go for a swim. My friend Max has told me he'll show me one sometime, but I haven't found them yet. Still pretty steep climbing this last piece, even though I thought we were on the ridge. Still a steep patch to go. It's a rocky. We just climbed up here, came from down there, and looking back across the ridge, 
and of course Lake Berryessa. Here we are on top of the world. We've got a 360 degree view. That's it, 360 degree view over Lake Berryessa. So now traveling along the top of this ridge. It goes a little up and down, but basically we're just traveling along the top of the ridge. We'll Go to the top of that point over there and then we'll start the descent sometime after that. Yes, that was a little bird's house behind me there. Overlooking the lake. And we're still walking along the top of the ridge. It's time to begin the descent, I believe. We're still climbing along the top of the ridge, but it's largely downhill from here. Here we come. This is the end of the ridge now. So now we make a decision as to whether to carry on on what they call Annie's Loop or take a left here, which will take us down to the end. So we're on the descent now and on this descent there are lots of steps. Not sure if it would be tougher to come down these steps or go up them but in any case we chose to go up the other way and walk down the steps and that's what we're doing now. a really noisy hiker ahead of us. A guy talking to two girls. So I waited a bit to let him go ahead. Because he's disrupting the peace and quiet of the trail. The good news is as we descend we are actually in some shelter from the trees. So we're not in the bright sunlight all of the time. Of course, yes, it is a beautiful blue sky, as always. We're still making our way back. We're heading in the direction of the car park now, I would say. But still a little way to go, over a mile anyway. But it's more of a pathway at this point. Easy enough hiking. I see another sign ahead of us. 
I see a sign that says parking and a sign that says 1.25 miles. I guess that's 1.25 miles to go. And that would be to the left here. Now, if I remember correctly, there is a little hut down to the right here, which is worth taking a look at. So we're going to take a quick look at that. And so we just came from there, down this pathway. And we're now here, and we're going to climb this little wall and into this area, which I believe is known as cold storage. I have really no idea what this was used for. The name cold storage would suggest maybe it was used for storing foods, as it does feel relatively cool here, despite the blazing sun up there. We just came from there, the cold storage, and we're back at this junction. So from here, I guess it's one mile to the end of the trailhead and 1.25 miles to the parking area. This is a spot we find discarded on hikes these days. So we just emerged from that pathway and we've been hiking along the creek, which is of course dry. This is the creek bed here. Continues on down that way. And I believe the hike continues in this direction where those two people are ahead of us. And we really are getting close to the end at this point. Yes, really. So we just came from the pathway there. And just noticed this little sign on the right here. It says poison oak. I know there's some poison oak around. I've heard people refer to it. I don't know exactly what it looks like myself. So I'm thinking maybe some of it has been burned off. And this is it here. But I am not sure. I'll have to check later. Quarter of a mile to go to the end of the trail. And we are approaching somewhere that looks familiar. Okay. This looks familiar. This is where we started. We came through that gate. We looked at this map briefly. So that's the trail. We started here in the car park, walked up to here where we are now. We did this twisty one up to the top. That's where we had the beautiful view over Lake Berryessa. We then walked along the ridge and then down and back around close to the creek, which is dry. And now we're here. Yes, we're back in the tunnel. Hey, we made it. We are we're walking back. I think the car park is just a little bit further down this road. But we'll find out soon. Oh, yes, there we are. I see some cars. It's a little bit. That's the end of the uh, trail. We're back in the car park. And that is today's hike. Stubbins Canyon, Ridge Creek Trail or something, all in the area of Lake Berryessa, near Winters and Davis, California.